Welcome to King's College, the British School of Madrid. Founded in 1969, we are a school with over 1,400 pupils. Science is very important at King's College. Our facilities include nine modern laboratories. Hi, I'm Alberto, a sixth form student at King's College Madrid. Today, I want to talk about building a cloud chamber, which is a kind of rudimentary particle detector. The main components of the chamber are a plastic container, an insulating base, a thin metal plate, and a light source. Isopropanol and dry ice are also needed. To build a cloud chamber, first line the top of the container with the felt. Then cover the metal with black paper. This will make it easier to see particle tracks. Once this is done, seal the bottom of the chamber with duct tape. Saturate the felt and inside of the chamber with isopropanol. The light should be placed to the side of the chamber as shown. The dry ice can now be placed under the chamber. Finally, try to find the best angle at which to illuminate the chamber. Isopropanol vapor is formed due to the difference in temperature between the top and the bottom of the chamber. Charged particles ionize the isopropanol vapor, which allows us to see their tracks. Beta particles, which are high energy electrons, can also be observed in the chamber. They produce tracks which are longer than those of alpha particles. This is because the electrons lose their energy more slowly than the alpha particles. I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember, if you wish to recreate this experiment, wear goggles and gloves when handling dry ice.